Hi and welcome. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is September 18th, 2020. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Hope you like the content and come back for more. Today, I want to talk about YouTube. Yes, I know you're probably saying, wait a minute, don't you do the reselling news and let's talk eBay? Yes, but it's all in relation to business. Believe me, take, take my word for it. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this stuff. Um, for those who don't know, I, that's how I got my start, believe it or not, uh, on YouTube, was from eBay. Um, and how I how that came about, and I have to say, I have to give accolades to eBay because if it wasn't for eBay for me to do the demo videos, intro videos, and sneak peek videos, I would have probably never started this channel. So I just want to talk about it. For those of you out there thinking or contemplating on, do I want to do a, have a, start a YouTube channel or you know, I just want to watch other people's videos like you're watching mine? But that's what the whole intense purpose of my YouTube channel is all about, is to help, inspire, and share. You know, back then, uh, I registered back on YouTube, I complete was 2013, and I didn't have an idea what I was going to do. I, I mean, I remember hearing about YouTube back then, and it's like, YouTube, and like, geez, and then I said to myself, you know, I want to be part of that game. I want to be, be part of that group, you know, the, the YouTube community, you know, I want to be part of it. And I said to myself, I don't know what am I going to talk about? What am I going to do YouTube channel about? And I guess a lot of you guys are going through the same thing. You're probably thinking the same thing over and over again. Geez, I want to, I want to do YouTube. I just don't know what to do it about, you know? Or what, what am I going to start the channel? Up? You know, what, what is it going to be? What is, what's it going to entail? Am I going to do a how-to video, do-it-yourself video? Or am I going to talk about, am I going to do a vlogging? We're going to like do a video where I talk about my everyday life, my personal life, well, semi-personal. But, um, that's what I'm all about. Um, and one thing will branch into it off into another. And the title of this video is you gotta be in it. YouTube, you gotta be in it to win it. Now, I know it sounds like that that slogan or logo or that, that saying from uh, the back of the day lottery. You gotta be in it to win it. Well, that's with anything. You know, you gotta be in it to win it for eBay. You gotta be in it to win it for YouTube and so on and so forth. You know, you wanna, you wanna make yourself noted. And, uh, I always get these calls at the wrong time, so I'm just going to have to ignore this here right now. I don't know what this is. I'll get back to this person later. Um, should have shut my phone off. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to shut my phone off now. <laughs> I don't know what this call is all about, but that happens every now and then. I do apologize that, folks. I should have shut it off right from the beginning. I'm sorry. I apologize. Anyway, um, so I lost straight of thought with that call. No. Okay. Anyway, what I want to talk about is getting started with YouTube. All right. Um, like I said again, I've been on I've been you know on YouTube since 2013, and that's how I came about. You know how I got started with this channel, and so far it's growing uh, slow, slowly but surely. It's growing organically, which is good. You know, uh, I want it to grow that way. I don't use clickbait or any type of titles to trick people into watching the video because, first off, um, I don't believe in that. And not only that, if you put a title in like that there where you're getting somebody to watch a video, I've seen all the videos Well, people will put a title in there, like, you know, like a, I call it a baiting title, whatever, and people will go in there and let's say the person puts in there, um, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna quit eBay, you know, something along that line, right? And then you find out later on, the person's not going to really quit eBay, and they they keep and, and it's pretty interesting the way they do it, the way the format sets in, is they'll talk a little about it, and then they kind of like you know ease into like they'll talk about well I'm thinking about quitting on eBay, and then they kind of like ease out of it, and then they go back again into it well, and then you find out later on they're not really quitting eBay, or it's just like I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna give up on YouTube. Not too many people are going to do that, especially. If you, if you, what do you call it, gained so many subscribers, hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers, chances of somebody telling you that they're going to give up or call, you know, get off of YouTube altogether is, to me, it's far-fetched and unbelievable. I don't believe it. I mean, there may be. I never did research like that. I, I mean, I wouldn't, because that, that stuff never really interested me. But for somebody to sit there and say, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give up on this, I'm going to give up on that, I don't believe it, you know. Why would you? That's like me. I created this YouTube channel back in, like I said, 2013. I have up to date, I think, with videos, I think 1,251. 
This will probably make it 252, I believe. Um, why would I want to give it up? I mean, all those hours I put into videos, you know? Why would I do that there? That's, that's, that's ludicrous. I wouldn't do that. I definitely would not give up my YouTube channel. Okay, but some people may get out of it for whatever reasons. Maybe there really are people like that would do it. I don't. I don't plan to, unless you know you're uh, departing. If you get my drift, you know, um, that's a different story. <laughs> but for the most part, um, I'm going to stay focused, and I'm going to be in it to win it. Okay, and that's what I want you guys to, you know, to feel, you know, to to focus on. Don't give up on your dreams. Now. I, I listen to, uh, I, I subscribe to the uh, Creators Insider uh, for YouTube, and there's a couple of the YouTube channels I subscribe to on there. And I was, I wanted to let you guys know out there, if you are a small channel just starting out like myself, I can say myself small, but let's say you got small amount of subscribers, two, three, four, whatever it is, you know. Um, I've had it where I had subscribers and then I end up losing a couple of them, and I remember on Twitter, on my Twitter account, and I said, "Has anybody noticed that you know you you, you know, one minute you have so many subscribers, and the next minute you know you, the next day you find out and you have, you're losing them?" And somebody said that YouTube, I think they look at a certain time frame where um, if you don't create videos within a certain period of time, uh, they may cancel it, not cancel, but maybe drop it down or something like that. Anyway. This girl I follow on Create Insider, um, she's going to talk about that. I'm going to play that clip. So play, pay close attention. Play. I'm going to play the clip. But seriously, pay close attention to what she's saying. And the reason I'm bringing this to your attention is because if you're a, star, a small uh, you know, channel like myself, you may notice things of that nature where you say, geez, you know, I started this year and I had so many subscribers and the next day I turned around and I ended up losing them. It's because I believe they get rid of inactive uh, accounts like that. There, if you're not, gonna, if you're going to start a YouTube channel and not do anything, why bother, right? Why bother if you don't have no intentions to putting in, you know, putting, uh, you know, making videos? Uh, what's the sense in being on YouTube? Seriously, all right. So I'm going to play that clip and pay attention to her, and then I'm going to show you about getting exposure on on YouTube for your channel to get your channel out there. Now I have a few channels with YouTube. All right, I got this is my main one, and then I got the Shop RJPC for great deals, and I have a couple of ones that just dormant. I just I don't know why I started them. I like to get rid of them altogether and just stay focused basically on this one and the other one. I got like I think a total of four other channels, like all together with this one. I think it's a total of four ch uh, four channels. I don't know why I did that there. I was I had other plans. I might just leave them there. They're inactive. I might just leave them for now, and because I'm thinking of I'm toying around with different ideas, what I want to do with my channel, and maybe I might want to branch off into a different channel, talk about something totally different. I don't know what it's going to be. So people are asking me, like, "What do you have an idea? What is?" I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Um, but I want to say one thing. Um, the most important thing, though, with a YouTube channel is to have uh, you know you don't have to go crazy with it with expensive equipment either okay I just want to get on that topic really quick um, I use an HP webcam which I'm doing right now and I also have over here or you can't see it's off this side but when I go into the split screen you'll see I have a Logitech uh, little camera I picked up you know webcam webcam on a little mini tripod I got that thing uh, for 10 bucks I got that little tripod with the Logitech and that Logitech uh, webcam goes for about like eighty ninety dollars or something like that I got it at my local thrift store for 10 bucks the whole thing together it's it's great it takes nice pictures nothing wrong with it uh, but for, I couldn't turn it up I couldn't turn it down I should say um, you know but I had to get it and uh, ever since I got it I've been using it. if you notice like my videos I always have like you know two pictures of me there the two videos the webcam and me talking on the main one which is this one but uh, I like it I, I have plans on to use that there and the other thing is for the longest time I've been using uh, a mic. I don't. Let me just hold on for one second here. I think this is it right here. Yeah, it's still here, of course. This here, folks, is what I was using a long time ago. Uh, when I, well, a long time ago, when I first started, pretty much. This here um, is the. Let me see my glass here. I can't read it. A lab tech. I didn't get rid of this here. I didn't get rid of this. Here. It's a lab tech. This is what I was using to do all my videos. And the reason why it sounded pretty decent back then when I was using this here is there was I was using a program called um, Audacity and there was another one oh, I can't think of it As a matter of fact I just took it off because I got another mic it was well actually it was gifted to me um, to make it sound really good I mean, you know I did a video like that how to make your video 
how do you make me you know how to make your your microphone your cheap microphone sound really good and it's it's in one of those videos i don't know where it is so if you ask me for it i don't know um but then i ended up getting this here it was gifted to me uh my relative they don't want it and this is what i ended up getting here okay so yes and this thing here is really it's made well this is a heavy thing you know um yes yeah, so i ended up getting this uh let me just make sure i didn't mess the gain up on it okay yeah um i got this here so that's what i'm doing all my that's where i get my audio from now i had audacity and i had the other one i think it was banana banana or whatever it was something i can't think of a thing i can't think of a name it was another software package that uh you could make your mic sound even better yet by doing all the final uh, tweets and stuff like that, the treble, the bass, the equalizer, and all that stuff there. I took all that out, and I just said, you know what? These mics, they go for quite a bit of money. I didn't buy it, um, and the reason why it was given to me, because my, my relative said they bought, they had this, I don't know if they got it in the yard sale, whatever. It's like brand new, though. It really, it's in really great condition. Uh, they said, I'm not really doing any videos. I was thinking about, but they're not. They're kind of like backing out. They don't want to do it. I guess they don't want to be on YouTube. They don't want to be in front of a camera or webcam in this case. I don't care. I love being on the camera. I love being on my webcam and stuff like that, and I love creating videos. But anyway, so this was gifted to me. So it, this thing is really great. Um, and I figured, you know, for, for what it cost, you know, to buy it, I didn't. Um, it's a good mic. And I, I don't feel like I need all those other little uh, extra software to take space up in my hard drive to make me sound good. I think it sounds good enough. I mean, to me, personally, I think it sounds a lot better. All right. Um, the other thing is I added this to my YouTube creation here. This is a gimbal. All right, I bought this uh, at eBay uh, last week or the week before. And uh, just to tell you a story, in case you're new, in case you don't know, I got this here for the, now. If you go to their website, this is the Vim, Vimble, they call it Vimble 2. And this one here on their website, if I'm not mistaken, directly from Firetech. Okay. Um, I believe it was $100, either $90 or $100, doesn't matter. To, to, to me, it's pricey. Okay. Uh, I always wanted one. I seen people with them. And I remember saying, I used to just look at Marvin and say, geez, I, I wish I had the money to get that there. Now, people might say, well, boy, you know, $100, $200 is really going to break your bank. Well, I'm very conservative and very frugal. So I, when the opportunity arises, that's when I will make that attempt to buy something. But for the most part, I don't want to, I don't have that kind of cash to go out and spend a lot of money on things like this, of this nature. You know what I'm saying? As much as I love it and stuff like that to have it, um, you know, I, I don't I don't have that cash to spend on it. So for me, when the opportunity came up, and I'm going to share it with you right now, uh, eBay was giving out to people who've been on eBay for a number of years, and that's another thing. I've been on eBay for over 20 years since July of 1999. Believe it or not, July of 1999. And July of 2013 is when I signed up with uh, YouTube. But anyway, they were giving everybody a $25 coupon, and you only had a certain time to use it. I think it was from September... I think September 9th was the cutoff date. And I said, geez, you know, I want to take advantage of that $25 coupon. I feel I earned it. I've been with them for over 20 years. I, they made enough money off me, right? Even though I'm a small time, a small volume seller. So I said, geez, I, I go, what am I, what can I really use? I said, I, I'm thinking they're counterplaying. I said, doing this. At first I was going to buy like more toner and ink cartridges. It's only 25 bucks. So I said, geez, I go, you know, and then I thought about it. And I remember watching the video presentation, whatever. And then the guy was using this. I said, you know what? That's what I want to get. I want to get the gimbal. I want to get one of these things. And what's nice about this one here, extends. Now, most of the ones they have, I don't know if they have this feature. I, I didn't really research the other ones too much, you know, per se. But I like the idea that this comes out like this here, and you could, you know, use it. You know what I'm saying? Because I like the, I like it because you could, it extends into a, uh, you know, a regular um, selfie stick. So this is like a selfie stick gimbal so to speak now there may be others out there i didn't research them i just was just interested in this anyway long story short i dropped the link in one of the videos where i got this from um it was going for 38 dollars i think it's i think the guy was saying it's pre-owned i believe it was but i tell you the truth it's it was brand new um it was going for 38 dollars with the with the 25 dollar coupon uh it brought it down to with the tax and everything brought it down to 16 dollars and 28 cents or something like that so I got this $100 gimbal, right? Well, that's what it goes for if you buy in a store. I mean, if you buy it for, directly from them for $16 and change. But that's what the, it was $38 was what they were asking for it. 
Okay, that's the answer. They had a best offer too. I could have probably got this. Got, I could probably made a best offer for thirty bucks, right? Which I should have, um, and then use and then apply the coupon tag because I can get a little cheaper. What what are we talking? Five dollars difference, whatever. But anyway, uh, when it came, when I got the when I got it in the mail, I wanted to make sure that I was getting everything with because I remember when I the, when the guy messaged me, telling me you know I was asking questions. He was saying that all I'm going to get with this here is just a gimbal and the mini tripod and the USB cable to charge it up. I said, geez, I said, that don't seem right. I messaged him back. I said, your, your ad shows that you're going to get everything with it. You're going to get the, everything, the, the, the instruction booklet, the case, and everything. So then he messaged back. He goes, oh, no. He goes, no, no. He goes, of course you're going to get all that there. You know, I gave him an excellent review, you know, uh, feedback on it. But he, sell, he sells on eBay as well. And uh, this thing really works nice. The only thing I got to work on or try to figure out is how to get the tracking to work. I try to. I don't know if it's because my software, my phone, like I have an iPhone 5S. I don't know if that has something to do with it. But the tracking, you're supposed to do face tracking. I just don't know how to use the thing 100%. So, uh, but you know, if you're going to be a YouTuber, um, you might want to get one of these. Now, this here, this particular one here, is for this uh, is for a cell phone, the smartphone. Keep moving away from me. It's for the smartphone here, right? Um, it expands like this thing expands over here too but you might want to get one of these especially if you're a vlogger uh you might be taking let's say if you're on a trip where you're doing an outdoor event or something you might want to you might want one of these here charging time in this here uh well actually the uh usage on here is five hours with with the uh a little usb connector right over here if you could see it and what that's all about is you'll get the cable to give you a bag of cables with it, a little couple, like I think it's like I think a total of three. One plugs into your iPhone, and what you would do is you would pop your iPhone on here, of course, plug that in there, the uh, sync card or cable, and then you would plug it into your uh, gimbal. And now, instead of using, I guess, all the juice in the phone, the cell phone, you're now using it off of here. But remember one thing, now because you're powering up your iPhone with it, all right, it's going to drain the battery on this here. So you only have five hours of use with this here. Okay, just keep that in mind. So, you know, if you're going to, um, you know, start a YouTube channel, you might want to consider getting one of these here. I only got it because, and, and they're still good. The prices are still good. Uh, if you check them out, you know, if, I, if I forget, I'll drop a link in there. You get the case with it. You get the little booklet and stuff like that. And it's really nice. But being a YouTuber, this is probably one of the things you might want to have is probably one of your most important things because if you're a person like myself sometimes I go out someplace and I want to take a video if I'm doing something like a live event or something you know where it may be it's always good to have your your cell phone there but for the most part you can get yourself a nice inexpensive webcam like I have here I got the HP webcam and I'm also using like I said the Logitech one but the main one is the HP webcam it's mounted on my monitor so you know those are the things that you could probably and if you get it like I said again if you don't want to shoot for this money here to get this this microphone here this the uh, with a blue yeti try something like a live tech I'm not getting rid of this by the way I want to hold on to this here this is my backup case I need for something else um, I want to you know I want to use I'm gonna make sure that uh, you know I, I keep that as a backup you never know you never know sometimes things happen you know and uh, it's always good to have a backup that that works pretty good too to be honest with you uh, but anyway if what I want to when I want to play that video to you guys you know play that video for you is, is um, again as to why YouTube takes people you know, or drops there or if you if you see subscribers disappearing on your YouTube channel because you say geez I can't it's hard to grow a YouTube channel it has nothing to do with you or I shouldn't say it has nothing to do with you but because for simple reason is maybe people don't like your content in my case I hope people like me and I hope they like the content they put out but whatever it is don't take it to heart I thought the same thing it bothered me so much I went on my Twitter account and I asking people about that there and one person a couple of people one person said oh don't feel bad I had like oh, 200 people got removed from my uh, my uh, subscriber base and you know so I mean that kind of like hurts you know to some some degree but for the most part um, don't let it don't let it get you down that's why I want to play this clip it's very important that you listen to what this girl's saying and you'll know then you'll get a better idea a better understanding as to why these things happen okay and then we're gonna go I'm gonna jump in and show you how to get 
your YouTube channel for those who are new. Now, I'm not talking about the professional people out there, the ones that have been on, you know, that have hundreds of thousands of millions of subscribers. This is does this not directed to you guys. You already got the notoriety. You already got the exposure. You guys are doing phenomenal. Your channel's growing in leaps and bounds. This is for the little guys like me and other people just starting out. So, you know, the, what I want to show the people is very basic, very minimal, but I just want to share it with them because I love sharing information with people, okay? I love sharing stuff with people. That's, like I said again, that's why my, I have this YouTube channel is to help, inspire, and share. And why I got your attention, hopefully, I do not discuss religion or politics, and I do not use profanity on this channel whatsoever. I consider it to be a clean content channel. Kids safe, to be honest with you. Okay? I only want to help people out. That's what I want to do. That's my, that's my, that's my job on this YouTube channel. Outside of doing the reseller news and Let's Talk eBay, I'm also a vlogger. And I gave people a, very, like a fair warning that there are going to be times that I will be doing videos such as this here. But remember, folks, it's all related. This is to help your business out as well, okay? So, you know, you're, you, look, let YouTube be the gateway to the world, the information, okay? Let me, it's, it's your gateway to the world out there. Uh, you, you know, if you have a website, you could promote your website in there. You know, if you've got things like, like I said, you've got a, uh, an eBay business, you want to talk about that there, you can, you know, you could drop, you could drop little links down there and stuff. Let, let YouTube be your informational main source whatever out there to put it out there and I want to just show you there's other ways to do it you know how to just you know go on social media how to do it but I'm, I'm going to show you the manual way and then they're going to show you another way on, on, uh, on my home page so I got a couple windows up and I want to share some stuff with you guys too okay all right now without further ado let me go into that there um, that the uh, you know YouTube creator channel and I want you to listen to what that that girl is saying about uh, being in an active on your account okay this is very important for you guys because if you're gonna start a YouTube channel and you're gonna do a video once a week once a month or every couple of months whatever it's not gonna do good for you okay so please listen to what this lady has to say or this girl has to say alright so let me uh, bump out here really quick and then we'll go jump into that video well that concludes this video I hope you found the information helpful and if you did Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post any videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is September 18th, 2020. I want to say thank you again to all the people who subscribe to my channel and to those who've been with me from the very beginning. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I'm going to try to, I'm hoping, I don't know if I could do it or not. Maybe with your help I can. Uh, I would love to get this channel to hit a thousand subscribers before the new year starts. <laughs> I really that's that's my my milestone. I remember when uh PewDiePie was talking about or they were talking about there about hitting a hundred million subscribers. That was his milestone and man, that's awesome. That is great. Kudos to him. I wish him all the best. You know, when you get that when you get had a hundred million or something like that, he gets some kind of beautiful plaque. It looked like I don't know if it was an emerald or diamond, whatever it was. He does a video like that. You know, he shows you and stuff like that. Awesome. Well, hey, 100 million subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers, you know. Um, but, you know, I would love to grow my channel like that someday. I think we all would, okay. And people may say, well, you're not just a, you're not just you. Everybody, you know, everybody starting a YouTube channel would love to get that there. I would. And But let me tell you something, though, folks. I just want to share this with you before I do end this video out. If you really love doing this stuff, I do. I love creating videos, and I'm going to keep doing it. And you know, and the sad thing about it is sometimes even with the passions and your, you know, the the things that you want, your talents that you share and stuff like that. I'm not saying this is a talent or you know, just a basically a sharing video, but you may find it. It's going to still take a lot of work, no matter how how hard you you put you you know put into your videos, no matter how much work you put into them. You're gonna find it's not the. It, this is not like some people always say. This is not a sprint on eBay, okay? It's a marathon, and that's that's what it's all about on eBay, okay? They're both the same to me. One, the only thing is, one you're talking video, and the other one you're talking retail, you know, online retailing. Um, but they're both the same. They're one and the same to me. But I just want to say this in closing. 
if you're if you're in doubt, you know, in, you know, you're, you're doubtful about what to do. Think about your talents, okay, and, and your own experiences, what you can do, okay. We all have hidden talents. We all do. As I said in my other videos, you may be a baker, you may be a, 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 wood, a woodworker, you know, maybe you're a craftsman, you do you build things with your hands, whatever. You might want to do videos like that. You might be a do-it-yourselfer. I'd have some do-it-yourself videos. I have some how-to videos. I even did a couple of little quick, quick tip cooking videos. A couple, only a couple of them. Some people like them. I mean, I can't. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere in that archive of over a thousand videos, but they're somewhere in there. Um, but I've done videos like that. You know, we all have hidden talents, and we all have passions too. You know, like that's what I'm saying. You know, if if you if you have a passion to create videos and be the best at what you can be, you know, you, what you are. I mean, what you could do, you know. I mean, we all ain't going to be professional, you know, videographers, you know. But for the most part, um, who's to say we can't, you know, do what the next guy's doing? That's how I got into this here. Well, I mean, as far as getting started with uh, how I got involved with creating a YouTube channel, it was through eBay, like I said in my other videos. But, you know, I watch other people. I watch other YouTube channels and I look at what other people do with their channels and I don't copy them verbatim but it gives me ideas I always keep a pen and a pad with me you know um, and I jot things down and if I like the channel I will subscribe to it and uh, you know if I like what the person's talking about I do have a couple subscriptions to um, people who are online sellers I follow a couple not thousands of them but I follow a few of them you know I can't follow too many because you know, you follow too many of them, then you'll have all you you'll be getting all these notifications every time they pop out videos. But no, it's not that. It's just it's not that. You know, I want people saying, "Well, you want to subscribe to me, you know, to you." But when it comes to them, I, I can only I can only digress so many videos within a day. You know, what I'm saying outside of my other work I do, which I do my research on eBay as well. Today, the reason why I'm doing this is because I had a couple orders that I had to go out and I had to pack them up, and you know. I took this time. I I usually wait for the letter carrier to come around the mailman, but I ended up driving them down to the post office, which takes some time out of my day. So I kind of got like a late start, had a late lunch, you know. So, but you know, whenever I get whenever I get uh, orders coming in from eBay, that's my priority right now because that's making me money. YouTube isn't at this point in time, um, and even even if I meet the threshold of a thousand subscribers, um, you know, I'm not saying I'm gonna make a, you're gonna make a fortune off it because it depends how their CPM was a cost per thousand whatever it is the click to rate whatever that thing is you know you might be making pennies on so many thousands of views or some you know small amount of money on so many thousands of views it takes a lot of work but the thing is the thing is I mean I I know like I said I've been following other people who are successful who got where they are today they'll tell you you know you gotta stick with it it's a lot of hard work creating and then editing it takes a long time to do this stuff but the thing is as time goes on you get better at it get yourself a simplified um, video editing software I use Filmora 9 uh, Film actually well I have Filmora 9 I use two of them okay Filmora I'm like right, this video right now for all uh, intense purposes this video is going to be uh, edited in Filmora 8.76 version Filmora came out with the uh, 9.5 version. I have both, but the 8.76 version, I like that one better. Okay, why? Because I use a white screen. You can't see it now because there's going to be a backdrop there. I use a white screen to do my videos. I don't need lighting. There's no additional lighting in here. That's what that's bright as a light bulb back there, right? It's a white sheet on a regular um, what do you call it? This stand, you know, the uh, backdrop stand. And uh, there's no lighting in here. There's no overhead lighting. There's no lights be beaming on me. I can go this way. You ain't going to see any shadows because it's all natural lighting. I like to shoot my videos in the daytime. Okay. I do all my video shoots like this right now. This is during the daytime. It's going on 5 p.m. over here. I'm in East Coast. I'm in New York. So, and that's it. It's still bright out. And all I got behind me, folks, is two windows. That's it. Two standard size, double hung windows, beaming a light in, and that's it. That's where I'm getting it from. Okay, so I love it. I love I love shooting my videos with a white screen. There are people that use green screens and, and blue screens. 
Now, that's the thing with the Filmora 9.5 version. If I, I have a green screen too, but if I have a green, if I use the green screen or blue screen, I could use that to put different backdrops. The only reason why I don't use the 9.5 is because I can't use the white screen. So people may say, well, why don't you just use the green screen? Then I have to have lights on me. And if you move them too close, you get splash. If you like, if you get too close to the green screen, you get the splash. They call it like a green splash. It will come on your face. If you go too far behind, you get shadows. There's too many. There's, to me, it's variables. Too many variables like that. See here, there's no shadows here. This is all natural lighting. With the green screen, you gotta have the lights move a certain distance. You gotta have where you're not too close because of this you create shadows. You get the splash on your face. It's too much. It's too much of a hassle. It's too much of a hassle. If I had a skylight, be even better yet. I don't have a skylight, just the ceiling up there. But I mean, this would really be bright, bright, you know. But for the most part, but let me tell you something. I do, I do use the intensity uh, settings on here to do this to shoot these videos uh, with the software. That's all done through the software now. Okay, the intensity and the exposure. Now, when I first come on to see you guys don't see this, it's very dark. Okay, the webcam, and then I go in and I increase the intensity, the brightness on here. I patch it all the way up, okay, and that's how I get this this bright illumination behind me, okay. But um, for the most part, if I didn't do that, that's the software I use. It's called Oxsoft, or HP Oxsoft, whatever. That's what I use. Now some people may say, I don't know. You say you use shoot with a white screen, but now you're telling me it's dark. It's because there's a setting, the camera setting software on there. It's what I do. Yes, when I first come on, it's dark. Even with the two windows back there, and it's bright in here still, it's still bright. But the software, I got to make the final adjustments on the software. Okay, I, I raise the, I rate the, I raise the brightness all the way up, and the exposure is is done. The same, I got the, I usually use the uh, focus button on there. I, I slide that over to try to get the picture as clear as possible. But yeah, I do have to do that. But that's why I get all those. Whenever you see, whatever when you look at my videos, that's also done. I'm with a white screen. God. God is my witness. That is the truth. That's a white screen back there. There's no lights in there. It's just a matter of adjusting the exposure on my webcam, and that's all done through software. But that is a sheet back there. It's a white sheet. So, um, again, um, there's little tips and tricks. I will share that with you guys. If you want to you you see that stuff, how I do it from start to finish, I'll be more than happy to do it. Okay? Just drop a comment below. But anyway, it's getting late. Um, I would like to break for dinner at some time today. Sometimes I skip uh, breakfast and lunch, and I just go straight to dinner because I want to share this stuff with you guys. I love sharing. I love. I love sharing information with you guys. You know, and uh, I, I, but the most important thing I just want to leave this before I close out. The most important thing to me is that you guys get a takeaway from it, and I hope you do. Okay, I hope you guys get a takeaway from. It. I really do. And if you do. Give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you you, you like what I'm saying. You, you like the content I'm putting out. And, uh, you know, I, I just hope it helps, though. That's the whole purpose behind this here. And you know what? I'm still learning as I go along. I'm still learning, too. And if there's things that you want to ask me, I'll be dropping a comment. I'll be more than happy. Out. I'll try to help you out as best I can. And if I can't get the information, I'll get it for you by some some source. Believe me. Okay? I've done that. My videos that are three years old, four years old, whatever, I'm still getting comments today on certain things that people, on the demo videos, people are asking questions. And I will go out of my way to make sure I get those answered. Okay, well, I'll answer their questions anyway. All right, that's the type of person I am. I'll try to do whatever. And if I don't know something, if I'm not sure something, or if I don't have that information, I'll be upfront and tell you, listen, I tried doing my resources, and I couldn't get it, but for the most part, I'd have to honestly say, for the most part, I always do get the answers for the uh, for the people who follow those videos or looked at my demo videos or sneak peek videos, or intro videos. I will try to get the information for them. I always, I don't want to let my, even if they're not subscribers, which most likely they're not, I'm going to put the, I'll get the information for them. And I will do the, I'll stop what I'm doing to get that information and give it to them, you know, put it out there for them. Whether it be giving links, you know, to certain websites to help them, you know, to assist them, but I will help them out in any which way I can, okay? And that's what I'm saying to you guys. If there's anything you want to see me talk about, there's something that you're interested in, please tell me. Drop it in the comments below. Leave nice comments. I respond to nice comments. 
any sarcastic comments or nasty comments I don't I just remove them I'm not gonna get into a cyber war with anybody folks that's not what I'm all about I'm a kind passive person who just wants to help people out and you know that's why I create this video a matter of fact I call it the his initiative help inspire and share that's that's the way I call it that's I made that up the his initiative you know help inspire and share that's what my YouTube channel is all about to help people inspire them and share information okay that's what I'm all about so I hope you guys do get a takeaway from it until next time you gotta be in it to win it on YouTube remember that folks I'm not saying I know it sounds funny it sounds like oh, you're talking about a lottery ticket because that's the lotto thing you gotta be in it to win it but seriously with YouTube you gotta be in it to win it to get it to, to get it where you want to be I know it sounds crazy it sounds like a crazy title you gotta be in it to win it what is he talking about that's what I'm referring to stick to it don't give up if it's your passion and it's one of your dreams go for it folks because remember one thing we're all gonna pass this we're gonna cross you know what make this path once in life you might as well do something that you enjoy doing okay really do something you enjoy doing and if videos is what you love doing and if you've got a talent or a passion you want to share with people you know this is your passion take those talents and share them with us okay please do all right so next time my name is Rich Bassini have a great day bye bye for now